So good morning everyone. Welcome to the Space Remote Sensing Remote Sensing and GIS channel. So uh, today I'm I'm going to show you a very interesting thing that uh, the land use land cover image of 10 meter resolutions is ISRI is actually providing. Okay, so I will try to show you uh, how you can access uh, that data inside ArcGIS Pro and how you can utilize this data okay for different of your work okay so uh, it will be very interesting uh, which i am going to show you because um, uh, many of us is actually uh, using the land use land cover data sets okay and uh, sometimes we are actually calculating means we have to download the landsat image and then we have to calculate or sentinel image we are downloading it and then we are actually calculating it but once you are getting our data uh, which is ready to use okay so the uh, that is also in a time series right for 2017 to this so uh, definitely that will be more useful so without wasting much time i am going to show you that link which i will going to share you soon okay so that is this link okay if you see here uh, i this link i will going to give you in a description box okay so from this you can uh, search this option so uh, this is the isri uh, uh, land use land cover Okay, so sire locations means from the living atlas these data sets are coming and you see uh, I'm just going to focus over the Bangalore but if you want you can focus anywhere in the world. Okay, so that is a good thing over here. Okay, so if you see anywhere in the world you can you can get this class by data but anyway I, I will search for this suppose the Bangalore. Okay, and you see the, once you click on the Bangalore. Okay, so then uh, you see this is the time scale where it will show you what are the classes will be there uh, inside this and uh, it will also going to show you uh, what are the uh, locations you can access this data sets what is the type of these data sets okay so every information it will be um, uh, there uh, which is be very useful for uh, different uh, uses which we are actually doing so suppose you see here from 2017 2018 so if you just play this button <laughs> okay so you can able to see the changes of last five years classified data okay so how the urban area is actually growing near to the bangalore okay so uh, you can get this information very nicely and now if you want to open the certain locations okay of this land use land cover data item descriptions if you want to read and you want to uh, learn more on that okay so then easiest process is i just stop it okay so you just see and close this one okay so there is the easiest process is this one okay you can click on this um, land cover information okay so this is the item descriptions so if you click in this item descriptions it will take you to this particular locations okay so where <coughs> these data sets will be there okay so if you see here these data sets uh, uh, informations will be there it is a esi imagery okay 2 meter imagery 10 meter resolutions data sets each year it is generating by the uh, impact observatory deep learning model ai classification model which you actually used to classify these data sets okay and uh, uh, you see uh, the other informations what are the variables we will be there like what are the areas any year we are covering so that is from 2017 to 2022 so it's a very good product i think now from uh, 2017 to 2022 we are getting a data so that is a very good uh, things which we can consider okay and it is also there in uh, marketer projections so and uh, this is a data is actually we use at a previous before okay so source data obviously we know this is sentinel 2a l2a okay it is a 10 meter resolutions image we classified image we can get it directly so these are the informations about the classified uh, classes what are the classes we are considering okay so what are the meanings of uh, regland okay so you can check it from here also classification process is also given how many samples is, uh, sites are actually taken over around the world so uh, that's all so now if you want to uh, take this data into uh, ArcGIS or ArcMap so first is uh, best way is if you get more information you know uh, if you if you have the ArcGIS login ID password so go with the sign in okay so then you will get a more information with this so let's let's sign in, in this particular locations so now you see <coughs> this more informations all you get get it here even you have options to open this data in your ArcGIS Pro either you can go in ArcGIS desktop or you can open in ArcMap or ArcPro whatever you want okay so suppose uh, 
ArcPro is the future as I told you. So better you can go with ArcGIS Pro. So I'll click on this. So this is the item file which is actually downloaded. So if you show land cover, so I will just open it. If you click the open, okay. So directly it will take you to the ArcGIS window. Ah, sorry, ArcGIS Pro window where you can access this data directly okay so uh, that is that is very interesting means once we click on this okay and we will get these data sets uh, directly in ArcGIS Pro it will it will open so let's open these data sets and uh, we will uh, now going to show you this okay so let's see let's see this data tool first okay so this is opening So it will take few minutes because it's taking from data from there and here it is so now you will get the data for around the world okay see this is the process is once you are uh, taking this data in your platform okay so then you can take it other people can download these data sets also from uh, these particular locations okay if you just click on this launch land cover download okay so if you click on this so it will ask you to which tile which year tile you want so accordingly you can select the year okay and it will take and it will start downloading of that particular area locations okay or you can download from here also like if i take uh, bangalore okay so that is the place so if you just go here right so you see here so once you click so it will ask you for the approximation size of these locations okay so accordingly you can download the only jpeg one okay so that is also possible this is will take a lot of time to download okay so but this is the jpeg file which will be downloaded very easily you can see uh, that much area information okay so that is the process it means if you if any other person is actually using who don't have the login password so they can use this link so it is already seeing that it is taking a lot of time so i will just pause this one make uh, let be this is be less size so it will be fine so now zips on i it is also i started for a long time it is actually taking to download this is a huge data as you understand anyway uh, so the process of the download also i'm going to show you here the best way is uh, if you have login so you can take this data directly from here okay so it will come now suppose i want to focus over the bangalore now i can come to the tools and i can use uh, not to tools sorry one minute. i will go to this locate I will take this like Bangalore. So you can take the locations automatically. The Bangalore will come focus. Okay. Now, if you have the boundary, you can add the Bangalore boundary. So I will take some extended boundary. Suppose. Yeah. Suppose I will take some extended boundary. Yeah. This is the extended boundary which I am considering for this. Okay. So let me open. So this is the extended boundary if you want you just click on this click on this okay so now if you want to clip this again you need to select this one come to your imagery okay so you have the raster functions click on the raster functions best way is you use the clip tool simply raster clip cl i think enter go to the clip process here you need to give input or sentinel image okay and whatever the output outside only you want okay you can go for the clipping geometry so whatever the area you want okay so that like bang bangalore area you want okay so if you give uh, this one so it will exactly cut with uh, the boundary one okay so if you don't check on this so it will take some extended area but anyway i will take the exactly input okay and you see if i click the new layer so a new layer it will create but it is a, it's coming in a stage value okay so what you need to do uh, you need to um, re you need to do the unique value or classify value you need to create over it you just see here now it's came okay so how to create the unique value 
so unique value will come as a code so that this code you have to maintain okay so that is you just see here uh, if you go here in attribute so this is the attribute table of this particular uh, layer so accordingly the different classes it is actually mentioned so which classes is what okay so that is mentioned over okay so if you see here so that is that is how it is coming now uh, what i want i want is this one so i will select this one okay come to this raster click on the symbology okay so if you come to the symbology there is one of stretch options so what do you need to select so you need to select the unique values so what the unique values will do so whatever classes it will match with the code which is present in these locations it will come as a code okay so that you have to understand which classes is fall in which code and accordingly you have to reclassify it and label it that's all okay so that is the process we usually do okay so that is the process if you see here it is still taking load so once it will load it so this is the classes will come okay so now uh, you have to understand like this okay so what are the classes is matching what so i know that there is suppose this my one two three four five five will be my suppose built okay so you see one two three four so five one two three four five five will be my built up so here i will check one two three four five five will be my built up so two three four five five will be my built up so i will click on this and i will give the color like this so now that image which i did so now you see it will, it will almost match it okay so that is the process you have to utilize okay and you have to classify it according to your class and suppose you want to give this name as a built up so you can give a name built up and you see it is also coming as a built so like that you have to adjust your other classes also you have to identify which classes will be matched with this code okay so accordingly you have to update in your level so this is the process of taking like means your classified image from the sentinel sites and like this way you can classify without classify you will get 10 meter resolution classified image which will be very useful for a different kind of work which you do if you want to see the land rank about change that you can do using the classification array you can use that i have on one lecture over raster image i already showed you so that you can apply it and many more things uh, means during the, uh, the, the 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 environmental aspects which we are actually trying to calculate so during that time also land use land cover is a very important part okay so in that case without wasting our time to do the classifications okay so you can use this uh classified image even yes no classification will give you the hundred percent results but yes it is a quite good results which is actually providing so you can use this data sets okay so one more thing i which i will tell you so some cases if you are if you want you can take the data like this also but i will suggest this process which will be more better process which i just showed you now but another process you all know but still i am just going to show you that is this process like if you go in the sentinel descriptions take this copy this data come to this okay go to this map add data click on this data from the path and paste this okay so from this way also you can add land use land cover okay but based options means here the problem is doing the clipping and all those things okay may you will face some issue okay but the process i show you for the clipping so that will be workable for this but sometime this process will going to show you this extended boundaries means there's a limitations of download of uh, the area okay so sometime it is actually showing from this this process so this process where i will show you like using this file okay item file if you are opening directly in arcgis pro and because that will be more reliable because it's coming by your login id from arcgis so thank you everyone so i hope you like this video so if you like this video so please subscribe my channel okay and uh, share this video to others uh, it will be very useful to all okay and keep keep giving your suggestions to me I hope you all like this uh, like this video 
and like my channel thank you thank you very much